Dear viewers, greetings from Dr. Saran Raj. In this video, we are going to see in detail about the ultrastructure of uh, bacteria. Uh, this is the ultrastructure of the bacteria. The first part in the ultrastructure of the bacteria is the cell wall. And within the cell wall, the plasma membrane is present. And the region within the plasma membrane is referred as the cytoplasm. The cytoplasm contains the various organelles like uh, uh, ribosomes, uh, polysomes, uh, nucleoids, and DNA, uh, plasmids, cell inclusions or uh, inclusion bodies, etc. And the plasma membrane also contains the folded structure. This is called as the mesosomes. The surface of the bacterial cell contains three surface appendages. One is the flagellum. Second one is the fimbriate that is present all over the surface of the bacteria. And the third one is the pilus. The sum of the bacterial cells are surrounded with the layer that is called as the capsules. Uh, first part is the cell wall. The cell wall is the backbone of the bacterial cell and it gives shape and rigidity to the bacterial cell. The major component of the bacterial cell wall is a peptidoglycan. In gram positive bacteria, the peptidoglycan is thick and multi layered in nature, uh, but in gram negative bacteria, it is a thin and single layer. And the cell wall confers the osmotic protection to the bacteria from various uh, toxic substances and it also provides uh, the gram staining characteristics to the bacteria and while doing the gram staining uh, the cell wall of the bacteria will be strained uh, based on the gram staining procedure we will uh, categorize the bacteria into two types one is the gram positive bacteria and second one is the gram negative bacteria the second part is uh, Plasma membrane. It is also called as a cell membrane or cytoplasmic membrane. Uh, it is made up of a phospholipid bilayer and it acts as a mechanical boundary of the bacterial cell. And the functions of the plasma membrane includes uh, it acts as a selective permeable barrier and it is also involved in the transport of uh, nutrients that is the nutrients and waste transport that is the exit and ex uh, entry and exit of uh, nutrients and uh, waste transport. And it is the site of ATP synthesis uh, in the prokaryotes because uh, usually the electron transport chain reaction takes place in the mitochondria. Uh, in prokaryotes, mitochondria are absent. Uh, so here, the ATP synthesis by electron transport chain uh, will take place in the plasma membrane. And it is also the site of uh, pigment and enzymes which are responsible for the photosynthesis. And it is also helps the bacteria for the cell communication, that is the cell to cell interaction. And the other functions includes the exocytosis and uh, endocytosis. Next is the mesosomes. Mesosomes are the areas in the cell membrane of the bacterial cells uh, that fold inwards. And this mesosomes uh, plays a major role in cellular respiration. That is uh, the process that break down the food to release energy. And the second main function of this uh, mesosome is the binary fission. That is an important uh, method of bacterial uh, cell division. Regarding the cytoplasm, the region the present within the plasma membrane is called as the cytoplasm. The cytoplasm is uh, thick and semi-transparent in nature. The cytoplasm contains a liquid portion that is called as uh, cytosol. The cytosol uh, mainly contains the water and some dissolved and suspended substances uh, including uh, ions, carbohydrates, proteins, particularly uh, enzymes lipids and wasters and the important organelles of the bacteria like uh, ribosomes nucleoids plasmids inclusion bodies and gas vacuoles are uh, present in the cytoplasm next is the uh, ribosomes the ribosomes are made up of uh, rna and protein uh, in prokaryotes uh, the, that is the bacteria 70s type of ribosomes are present in the bacteria and the 70s type of ribosomes are divided into two subunits one is a 50s subunit that is the largest subunit and the smaller unit is uh, subunit is the 30s subunit and uh, averagely uh, 10,000 to 15,000 ribosomes are present in each bacterial cell and the ribosomes are held together by the mRNA and forms a chain like substance or appearance that is called as the polysomes or polyribosomes. Uh, the main function of the ribosome is protein synthesis, that is the translation process, that is synthesis of protein from the single-stranded 
mRNA. This process is called as a translation process or protein synthesis. And next is the nucleoid. The nucleoid are uh, spherical in shape, uh, elonged or dumbbell in shape. It contains a single long continuous and arranged threads of uh, double stranded DNA that are called as uh, bacterial chromosomes. And this nucleoids uh, carries the genetic information that is required for the cell structure and uh, its functions. It is the plasmids. Plasmids are the extra chromosomal DNA. Uh, they are small, double standard, circular, and self replicative. The size of the plasmids uh, varies from 1 kb to 500 kb, and it contributes about 0.5 to 5 percentage of the total bacterial DNA. And the plasmids are based on its uh, function. The plasmids are categorized into five types. They are uh, F plasmids or fertility plasmids, R plasmids or resistant plasmids, call plasmids or collagen plasmids, RA plasmids or root inducing plasmids, and finally TI plasmids or tumor inducing plasmids. The plasmids are playing a major role in uh, gene transfer mechanisms uh, like conjugation, uh, transformation, and uh, transduction, and it also it also confers the antibiotic resistance to the bacteria. Next is the uh, cell inclusions. Cell inclusions are also called as uh, inclusion bodies or inclusions, and they are the reserve deposit of the uh, storage materials of energy, uh, carbon source, uh, phosphorus, and other substances. The bacteria use these uh, cell inclusions when the nutrient is deficient within it. Uh, some inclusions are common to a wide variety of bacteria, uh, whereas uh, others are limited to some number of species, the particularly like uh, the metachromatic granules. And therefore, they, uh, they, they serve as the basis for identification. The, the very well-known example for this is metachromatic granules. The metachromatic granules are the cell inclusions uh, present only in particular bacterial isolates. Because of this reason, the metachromatic granule staining uh, is used for one of the important identification factor for the some important bacterial isolates like uh, cornibacterium uh, diphtheria. Next is the gas vacuoles. The gas vacuoles gives buoyancy to the bacterial cells and helps to float in the aquatic environment. Next is the capsules. The capsules are the well-defined structure of polysaccharides that surround the cell and the capsules protects the bacteria from the phagocytosis process. Uh, so it is also referred as the cell eating process and it is anti-phagocytic in nature. Uh, regarding the virulence of the bacteria, it helps in the adherence or attachment uh, to, the self, uh, to the cell surface during the bacterial pathogenesis. So uh, capsule is considered as one of the virulence factor for uh, some bacteria like uh, Klebsiella pneumoniae and Pseudomonas pneumoniae, sorry, uh, Streptococcus pneumoniae. Next, the endospores. The endospores are formed uh, during the unfavorable conditions and they are made up of keratin like coat and dipicolic acids. It provides uh, resistance against the heat, boiling, uh, drying, antibiotics, radiation, low nutrient condition, osmotic pressure, and various chemical disinfectants. Next is the flagella. The flagella or the thread like or whip like appendages intrinsically embedded in the cell envelope and they are helical in nature and non-straight. The size of the flagella is 20 to 30 micrometer in diameter and 15 micrometer in length. The flagella is made up of protein called as the flagellin and the flagella are many times longer than the pilin and the fimbriae. In general, the, there are three surface appendages. Uh, one is uh, flagella, second one is pilin and third one is fimbriae. Among the three surface, three surface appendages, the longer surface appendages is uh, flagella. And the flagella confers uh, motility to the bacteria and it is not playing any role in attachment of the bacteria into the uh, host cell surface. The only function of the flagella is the motility alone. The next is the fimbriae. The fimbriae are the bristle-like short appendages that is evenly distributed on the surface of the bacteria that is all over the surface of the bacteria. The fimbria are made up of protein uh, called as uh, fimbrillin. The length of the fimbria is 0.03 micrometer to 0.14 micrometer. And the total number of uh, fimbria per cell is ranging from 200 to 400 fimbriae. And the fimbria are shorter 
and thinner than the flagella and pili. The main function is the surface attachment or adhesion on the host cell. So because of this reason, the fimbria is playing a major role in the bacterial pathogenesis to the human beings. And the fimbria also helps in the formation of uh, pellicle and biofilms. And finally, the pili. The pili or long hair-like tuber microfiber-like structure. It is present uh, only on the gram-negative bacteria, but the flagella uh, is present in, uh, in both gram-positive and gram-negative bacteria, but not in all the bacteria. The fimbria is also present in both gram-positive and gram-negative bacteria, but the pili is present only in the gram-negative bacteria alone, and it is absent in the gram-positive bacteria. And the, it is made up of special protein called as uh, pilin, and the pili is longer than fimbria and shorter than the flagella and it is uh, more rigid than fimbriae. The length of the pili is 0.5 micrometer to 2 micrometer and usually the 1 to 10 pili are present in the bacteria and the pili are randomly arranged on the surface of the bacteria. The main functions of the pili are the first one is the gene transfer mechanism the particularly the conjugation. The pili way is playing a major role in the conjugation that is the uh, transfer of gene from one bacteria to another gene. Second one is adhesion that is attachment into the uh, host cells. Uh, this is uh, adhesion is a very important factor for the bacterial pathogenesis. The bacterial pathogenesis. The presence of uh, pili confers uh, pa pathogenicity and its uh, virulence factor to many uh, diseases. Uh, uh, particularly caused by the gram negative bacterial isolates and it also acts as a receptor uh, for some viruses okay, that's all about the ultrastructure of bacteria thank you for listening